How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. As you see, we have the Canadian dream today. It's the Bayern Munich star, Alfonso Davies. 87 rated. They kind of got leaked by EA uh, a couple of days ago now, and I've been waiting to review this card for so damn long. Well, um, yeah, a couple of days. But anyways, guys, we're going to review him today and see how good he is on Ultimate Team. So, lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button, and let's aim for like one or 2,000 likes for Alfonso Davies. So we're going to do it today is we're going to review him as a left cam in a 4-2-3-1 and just try him out in that formation and see what he kind of offers the team. He's got three star skills right now. In the future, he could have four star. On kickoff right now, he's got four star, four star. So, um, yeah, say it like with a pinch of salt because it will be one of the cons. I'll let you know straight away. Three star skills will be one of the cons because he's got so many great attributes and so many kind of great abilities in game. He would benefit from the four star skills massively. And lads, if you're not subscribed to the channel, get subscribing to the Marshall 89 HD channel and uh, yeah if you want more reviews this is the place to be so that being said he's played at Lamb the 4 2 3 1 we've got Militao a lot been asking for a Militao review I've got to say sensational what a card he is and we have LaFont in net so lads Alfonso Davies let's get into the review so here we go then lads and when it comes down to price of Alfonso Davies you're looking at around 200k for the SPC as of right now that's if you've got nothing in your club whatsoever it's 200,000 coins which I've got to say for an 87 rated 97 pace winger with amazing in game stats as you're about to see that's not actually too bad it's not too bad and when he's going to get the upgrade of a four star skill Mousset that is very very good however right now he's got a three star skill Mousset that is it's not great it's not great for the card four star weak foot is great for the card and the height to high work rates do affect the card in a number of different ways I'll get into that once we hit the gameplay but the 200k you do get packs back in return and you get the sick Alfonso Davies card 97 pace 85 shooting 88 dribbling 84 physical and 80 passing, one of the best well-rounded cards we've had in this promo so far. As you can see by his in-game stats, he's got 95 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. He's got 85 at second position and 83 finish and 92 shot power, man. He's got 82 long shots, he's got 71 volleys, plus 10 with a sniper cam style. 85 vision, 81 crossing for the wing play and whatnot. He's very, very good at crossing on this game. 83 short pass to the one is very, very good and he's got 83 curve. In terms of dribble and category, he's got 98 agility, 89 balance, 70 six reactions plus five with a sniper chem style he's got 85 ball control 89 dribbling and some people are concerned about his composure and finishing it's 83 and 83 there's nothing to worry about that in the slightest man sometimes you can miss a chance but that's more user error than anything else now i missed a few chances and i've got to say it was user error in terms of jumping it's 85 his send accuracy though isn't that great at 62 his strength is 81 now look at this clip in the background his strength comes into play massively he shoulders off that guy there and he still showed him off He's, he's kind of collecting the ball. He's in a tussle here, and he wins the ball back. He does great, and again, gets into another physical confrontation further down the line. But he's just very, very strong in this game, and I don't have that amongst the pros because it wasn't really like a major, major pro in itself, but he is very strong in this game. It's Alfonso Davies. He's got a lot of fighting, 80 aggression, of course. He's got 81 strength. It is, um, it is very good. For a winger in this game, it's not normal to have good, good strength and good aggression. But Alfonso Davies definitely has that. And does he have a shot in his locker? Well, uh, um, yeah, you tell me. What is strike, man? That was a time finesse with the outside of the left boot. Of course, his preferred foot is the left. He can sit it on his right if he wants to. Uh, but um, that's signal to me. He's just capable of like hitting them with the outside of the boot. Yeah. He's capable of like swinging it with his right foot. It does not matter on the game. And he doesn't mind. It's just great to see that. Just look at this finish in general. That is bloody beautiful, man. Pass the keeper in the back of the net. Easy as you like. And he's got a couple of crackers for me uh, in terms of this review. So in terms of the pros and lasts, let's just get into that. Pace, phenomenal. Acceleration is 95. Sprint speed is 97. There is nothing needed in terms of boosting his pace whatsoever. Whether it be like a chem style of like Hunter, whether it be Catalyst, whether it be Shadow, whether it be uh, Engine, you don't need to boost the acceleration of the sprint speed. He's so damn quick on this game. And the person I like in his pace too is Kylian Mbappe. He is very, very quick on this game. Is Alfonso Davies. And when it comes to the, the best stats, of course, you got the sprint speed of 97. Acceleration 95. The key stat of the day is the agility of 98. Not only is he fast off the ball and on the ball with his 97 kind of accelerator, well, sprint speed and 95 acceleration, 
It's 98 agility, makes them so damn agile on this game. It does everything at 99 miles an hour. I love it, man. I bloody love it because you can do a roulette. Yes, he's, like, he's limited right now. That's why three star skills is a corner. He is limited in what he can do. But um, with him being able to do um, the roulette and whatnot, it's just great for the car. And he does it very, very quickly, as you will see later on in this review. He receives the ball out wide here. What's he going to do? He's going to do a roulette. He's going to lose the ball that time, unfortunately. But again, within this movie, will get the ball back, he will attack and he probably will score, I think this is another banger by the way, receives the ball out on the left hand side, just look at this man, just that sheer power, that is sheer power, 92 shot power, has to be a pro and it is a pro, just look at the pros list, the pace I've spoken about, the agility I've spoken about, the dribbling is sensational and he can benefit so damn much from 4 star skills, it is ridiculous, and so uh, yeah, he's dribbling in general, he's close to his body and never gets away from him, always in control, he's got a good stride on him, and just look at the pace man it's, it's ridiculous he's so quick on this game is Alfonso Davies lovely drag back he gets very unlucky with right footed shots and what a save that is on the rebound by David De Gea in terms of the wing play he can do it all apart from four star skills I mean oh my god the four star skills is just uh it's the elephant in the room it really really is his wing play is tremendous he can cross he can uh, he can run he can commit players he can uh, he can just do it all man he can even defend with his strength and get back because of his high defensive work rate in terms of what he brings to the table just look at this by the way, roulette, see you later, pal. Whips it in and Zlatan puts it in the back of the net. That is what he's capable of as well. In terms of shot power, you've already seen it in this review. Bloody bangers, bangers, bangers. Bangers for days, man. He can just smash them past the keeper at will. In terms of stamina, with high to high work rates, you need good stamina because you're up and down like a yo-yo all game long. He's got 89 stamina. Fantastic for the card. And it is fantastic in general. And uh, yeah, the high high work rates do affect his positioning, hence why positioning is a corner. Because sometimes he can be too far back and you've got to build the play up slowly and then burst on the scene with Alfonso Davies. Sometimes you're on the attack, he was on the last man, and then you just start dropping back a little bit. I'm not too sure what that is it could be side defensive work rate even though i'm on the ball i'm not too sure why he'd want to move back but position in general wasn't very good however his movement once in position uh, was brilliant because he was never marked due to his high high work rates honestly uh, it's like um it's like a it's, it's a mystery man it's a bloody mystery position will be a corner in my opinion and the free star skills will be a corner but how long will the free star skills be a con for because as you guys know on kickoff mode he has four star skills that could be coming to Alfonso Davies in the near future because if he does get four star skills, it would make this card so dangerous and he already is dangerous and I'm thinking about using this guy in the weekend league this weekend because I just had a lot of fun with this card. So in terms of the overall rating with Alfonso Davies, you will get the rate lads of a 9 Point zero. Yes, he's on the borderline. I think he's better than Sancho and players of that nature. He's not better than Vinicius Jr., let's just say that. But uh, yeah, he's, he's up there, man. He is definitely up there with what he can bring to the table. So 9.0 is fully deserved for this card. He's a great winger, man. He's a great winger. And I honestly reckon he'd do well at camp with four-star skills. He's, he can be very, very good on this game. And he already is very, very good. Five coins, 9.2, because 200k with the packs that you get back and the player that you get, and the potential to get four star skills, that is a major pull for the card. So I, I get the card, man. Bundesliga don't have too many great left wingers. You've got like UCL Royce uh, playing on Sancho amongst others. It's not that great. So Alfonso Davies is possibly the best left winger within that league as of right now. In terms of enjoyment rating, 9.4. I bloody loved him. I, his pace was ridiculous. His shot, his strength, his stamina, his, uh, his, his just demeanor in general. It was just great, man. It was just great. So I, I enjoyed the vibe of this card, the vibe that he gave out, the excitement that you're running at a player and sometimes you get past them. Of course, this game can be very frustrating at times, but you want those enjoyable players. Now, Alfonso Davies is definitely one of those. In terms of foot champs readiness, I'll say yes, man. I'll say yes. He's better than like uh, Footmas ba Bailey and stuff like that, even though I've just woke my bloody dog up saying the name. But you know what I'm saying, lads? He's much better than those kind of caliber of players. In terms of the perfect link, there is no Canadians within Bayern Munich as of right now, unless Owen Hargreaves comes out of retirement and uh, switches nation from England to Canada. It's... Uh, it's not going to happen. So he's got no perfect links to Bayern Munich. He does have strong links all over the board at Bayern Munich. And those are Bayern Munich players like Lewandowski, like Goretzka, who just got an informant today, by the way. 
Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, the defenders? Boateng? I mean, you've got a lot of options. You've got Alaba as well, which could be a great link to this card down the left-hand side of your field. In terms of the weak links, you've got to look at like Marco Royce, Timo Werner, players like that of that caliber and get, get them in, man. Get them mixed in, uh, get them interacting with this card because it would be great for your team. In terms of similar players, I'm offering you one today. Normally it would be free, but Felipe Anderson. If you use Felipe Anderson on this game, it feels very much like Felipe Anderson without the four-star skills. It's so damn, it's like two peas in a pod, man. It really, really is. They feel very, very, very similar. In terms of keeper will be the pace because he's so like he's electrifying he's using both on this game he's so quick it is ridiculous he challenges Mbappe for pace and um, that's something I didn't think I'd see on this game Mbappe is just uh, he's the quickest man and this guy he can um, yeah if you max him out man he could be easily as fast well he will be as fast as killing Mbappe and with the agility he's got 98 and the balance of 89 his, uh, his dribbling and stuff is crazy as well on the corner three star skills is the key corner date that could all change like I did see and in terms of the best chemistry it's got to be Sniper. It takes him to a 91. Racing per position at left wing. That is phenomenal. Right wing as well, by the way. But uh, yeah, 90 left forward, 90 center forward, 88 cam, 88 striker. You've got to put the Sniper on this card, man. It would really, really work. And in terms of like the best within the league, I I'm going to stick Davies as the best left winger within the Bundesliga. I mean, you've got UCL Royce. UCL Royce has a lack of stamina, I do believe. So um, yeah, I reckon Davies takes the game notch on that. Clitherman Sancho comes just behind Royce and then we have like SBC Serge Nabry and Inform Ribery amongst others. And in terms of Canada, left wingers, um, Davies. Davies is the only one, lads. Davies is the only one. And that's going to be it for the review today. I hope you have enjoyed, lads. I was going to drop another one earlier on today. It was going to be Alwa. If I'm saying his name right, I probably just butchered it. But the YouTube was broken. The YouTube was bloody broken. So I hope it's fixed now. And if it is, smash a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.